Amy Medford with Medford Knife and Tool. Knives on the table today are headed to Guns and Range in West Palm Beach, Florida. I wouldn't mind being there, probably vacationing right now. Even though I don't drink, I could pretend I could put an umbrella in a virgin cocktail and just sit on the, on the beach and stick my toes in the sand. Wouldn't that be nice? Ah, vacation, what's that? It's an idea. It's a frame, it's a frame of mine, right? All right, so Guns and Range, 1016 Claire Avenue, uh, Unit 1 in West Palm Beach, Florida, 561-402-7555. The owner is Alex. Hi, Alex. And um, I believe their guy is Gonzo. Hey, Gonzo. So let's see what's headed your way. We've got some cool stuff, for sure. We'll start off with some of the more standard economy line knives of ours. Smooth Criminal, Tumble Blade, Crimson Red Handles, Bronze hardware and a bronze clip. That's beautiful. Smooth Criminal, all blacked out. S35 PVD blade, black aluminum handles, PVD hardware and clip. Ha ha. And a Praetorian Swift Frame Lock Flipper. So Swift Frame Lock Flipper. S35 PVD Tonto blade, beautiful deep blue handle, PVD hardware spring and clip. Slim Midi Marauder S35 PVD Tonto. This looks like it's got a violet base in the background. It's got the galaxy face and flaming pattern. It's got that really cool splatter effect. PVD hardware and PVD spring and clip. Slim Midi. Ooh, Armadillo. So one of our newer sculpts, our new guy Thomas, Thomas, the creative genius that he is, um, likes to come up with some new sculpting ideas. So this is what we're calling Armadillo. Kind of looks like their shell. Uh, violet handles, hand sculpted, bronze hardware, S35 PVD Tonto, and this is the full thick midi marauder and bronze clip. Praetorian Genesis T. So a lot of Praetorian models. We have the full size T. This is the mid range, the Goldilocks. And then we have the micro. So this one's S35 PVD draw point, PVD handles and breaker with that kind of brassy bronze hardware and PVD clip, just classy looking. One of my uh, favorite laser engravings. Okay, it is my favorite. The billowing American flag in bronze on black handles. Again, there's that brassy bronze hardware. It just looks like it, it just, smacks of military brushed bronze clip and a pvd spring this one here another new sculpt we are calling this one tremors so tremors we have it's a bead blasted kind of an aqua cement undertone with that brassy bronze face it just it's so cool it looks like it's pulsing bronze i love that the bronze pivot is right in the middle of the uh radial portion of the sculpting and it just pulses outward. PVD Tonto, PVD Breaker, and a PVD Clip base with brushed bronze flats. That one right there, I would love to replicate. Just gorgeous, Genesis T. The third Genesis T on the table has the infamous Katsushika Hokusai, Great Wave. I have cross-stitched this pattern. I swear it took me a full year and I'm in love with it. So it's got the great wave. You can see the boat splashing in the water, the crested wave, and uh, Fujima in the background. And there's the S35 PVD drop point blade, brass bronze hardware, PVD breaker, tumbled handles, and PVD clip. Full-size Praetorian T S35 PVD Tonto PVD handles and breaker with a very pretty blue pivot and spacers and a brushed blue clip. And then the final knife on the table is uh, on belay with a PVD blade, PVD handles with brushed bronze scallops and pinstriping and hardware. This will be changed out for a PVD spacer that kind of sticks out like a sore thumb. So I will go and ask what person thought that might look really cool on the knife. So that will be a PVD breaker when that ships out, brushed bronze clip, and yep, there's the on belay. So there we go, folks. Other than the uh MP3 breaker on the envelope. Those are ready to go out the door to Guns and Range in West Palm Beach, Florida. So reach out to them and see if we can get your hands on. Keep watching the videos. Until the next time, peace.